Cena style product reviews and tutorials. Hi, this is the tutorial slash review from the high powered burning laser, the Thor M2. And yeah, let's start with the boring stuff. Don't buy it. Most countries it's illegal. Uh, it's sort of dangerous. You can blind people, blind yourself, burn things, burn your house, uh, start a forest fire. Uh, yeah, you know the drill. <laughs> a lot more of that, uh, that awesomeness. So yeah, and uh, with boring stuff, I mean, uh, we'll start with uh, with trying to uh, to burn uh, stuff and. Uh, we start off with, an, uh, with a shell and that's because uh, my, my friend was uh, crafting shit and she used uh, yeah, like a bad uh, drill, you know, not a diamond drill to, to make uh, little holes in the shells but most of them broke during or after drilling so I thought uh, let's try it with, uh, with this thing, you know, it should yeah, burn like perfect circles in it but yeah I've only forgot one thing, it's a, uh, uh, yeah, fact of the matter is that most shells are light colored, you know, and, yeah, light colors, uh, burn bad or don't burn, you know, same as, uh, the same wavelength color, uh, that doesn't really wanna, wanna, <laughs> wanna heat up if you, if you shine on it, but, uh, besides those, uh, things, it's like, uh, the darker the color, the, the, the more uh, happy it is burning it, so yeah. And yeah, to, uh, to create the credit to, uh, of this shell, it didn't, uh, it didn't do anything at all. So I tried to uh, refocus the laser, and uh, the, the, the mount you see that I put it in, that's uh, what I made from uh, old camera equipment and uh, mainly action cam uh, accessories. So, uh, yeah, that's ideal, you know, to, to make a mount for it so you can uh, aim it and it's, it's a steady thing. Because even popping balloons, if it's, uh, the, the balloon is, um, um, yeah, sort of correctly in, in, uh, in one place and doesn't go anywhere. And you put the thing like, uh, yeah, I already tested it at 8 meters uh, away from it. As long as it's uh, sort of uh, focused correctly itself, plus you have it in a mount, yeah, it pretty much pops it instantly, even uh, over the, the, the distance of 8 meters, you know. But if you sort of start moving it a little, it can take a while. Uh, same with matchsticks, if you have it perfectly aimed and focused, it's like the, the moment you, you touch it, it burns, but the moment you start wiggling or a bit above, a bit under it, or it's not focused correctly, yeah, it, it can take a few, uh, few seconds or... Uh, yeah, longer uh, in case you're uh, you're failing harder. <laughs> and yeah, second attempt, same story, same result. Even on uh, on close up, you yeah, I couldn't uh, detect anything at all with my own eyes. And about uh, eyes speaking, it's um, yeah, it's well advised to 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 buy some 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 decent safety glasses for for uh, your particular type of laser but yeah I must say it ain't uh, it ain't easy and it ain't cheap because I ordered it, uh, a pair of goggles but they do nothing niente and I'm using this thing for like a few weeks now on a regular basis and yeah batteries empty quick you don't use it a lot but like just frequently and yeah my eyeballs are are pretty sensitive or like uh, hurting at times you know even from yeah, just looking at the uh, at the thing from behind it, so like every uh, focus point, uh, yeah, far away, uh, close to you, doesn't matter what uh, what surface it's on, yeah, it's sort of bright enough to reflect a lot of it uh, of of the light, and yeah, just the beam itself, it's it's, it's powerful enough to to uh, to hurt your eyeballs pretty quickly. That's uh, that's what I can uh, yeah, what I can guarantee you. And yeah, I do have goggles now, but they're not, uh, yeah, working in any way, uh, shape, or uh, whatsoever. So, yeah, but yeah, I have, uh, I have a sort of, yeah, do-it-yourself solution for it uh, later in the video. 
and as you can see clearly here that uh, this is a pretty thick uh, piece of uh, black rubber yeah pretty much instantly the, the beam shoots through it it's like uh, it's like butter and also with uh, with hard uh, dark plastic I, uh, I also burnt in a pioneer um, uh, car radio uh, casing you know that's like uh, yeah, it can probably hold up to 30 kilograms if you if you put the weight on it that's how, how tough it is but yeah it's, it's like uh, through the, the the two layers uh, at yeah maybe four seconds or something it, it was uh, it was already through it so it's uh, yeah in that in that sense black things you know plastics it's uh, it goes like a motherfucker in the description below I will uh, give uh, the information where I bought it and what it cost it etc etc uh, in the Netherlands it's uh, it's difficult to get it from an American uh, seller like eBay uh, yeah, I don't know Banggood if that was sort of a part of it but like uh, most uh, most uh, items uh, were not uh, sh uh, shipping to the Netherlands so I bought it from a Chinese uh, source and that's like uh, yeah yeah like Ali you know I, I paid a little bit above uh, what what the, what the cheapest uh, price could be but yeah that was something where I had, uh, yeah, I had the confidence that it would uh, arrive and as far as I know uh, the, any any uh, significant lasers won't uh, be shipping with any batteries uh, at all and the batteries are not yeah the regular ones so you will have to uh, yeah look uh, in advance if you uh, want to use it quickly uh, where you uh, where you get them for for the price you uh, you can get them you know because uh, the 303 lasers have like one battery the 18 something 50 and this uh, Torrent 2 has uh, two batteries two smaller ones that sort of uh, yeah together come at a sort of uh, same battery so I don't know what the, what the deal is there but it's like uh, yeah, they, have, they have they use alternative type of batteries and yeah I assume any anybody that's uh, that, uh, that's wanting or uh, is interested or bought uh, or want want to buy something like this yeah is, is buying it for for yeah the laser itself you know because it came with story caps. Yeah, if you know any lasers, you know what story caps are. You know, it's like the, you you mount it on top of it, and it will uh, create figures that uh, that are movable by uh, turning uh, the the extension. But yeah, it's uh, completely uninteresting for me. That's uh, I'm I'm not uh, sort of planning to use it. I'm not gonna use it, and I already sort of destroyed one to have at least uh, the extra top on top of the the laser because it not only looks better but yeah, it also pr sort of gives an extra protective layer uh, through your uh, to your diode. So uh, yeah, that's what I use one for. But yeah, that's because like uh, I I would want one uh, on top of it without any story cap thing, you know. But that, that that's not there, so I just uh, yeah removed the the yeah, the, the pattern uh, layer uh, within that uh, that thing, which isn't uh, difficult. But yeah, let's see how it how it looks in the in the dark, or uh, semi dark because it's uh, like uh, now a featured from within the living room, uh, pointed at the, the the yard. Look, it's 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 epic and it's awesome, guys. Yeah, well, here we're looking at the box, but from a uh, sort of VR glass uh, type of uh, yeah uh, looking glass that I uh, yeah I, <laughs> I can't take credit for it because I found a YouTube video where a guy sort of made it uh, as a uh, do-it-yourself uh, type of uh, protective glass. You know, he could shine <laughs> directly in, into his eyes because that was uh, shining at the camera. You know. 
and it's a, it's a pretty uh, brilliant idea if you have a, a, a smartphone, a spare, or a phone with a camera at least, and uh, yeah, you can have a, a protection, uh, an eye protection that is yeah pretty much uh, one hundred percent. Only uh, yeah, it was an old phone that I used, and it had uh, sort of like a uh, bad camera lens with specs on it, etc. But at least uh, it's good enough, you know. So yeah, that's uh, what I show here in an example. Pretty easy to make. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, the the regular stuff, you know, the the box that I uh, that I had it uh, arriving in. And yeah, here we're gonna have some uh, failure from uh, from my part because. Yeah, <laughs> like I failed with uh, many things, but the 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 better of the, the the matchsticks weren't uh, aligned properly. Plus, I wasn't aiming uh, correctly, and yeah, but I I I've already tested it in more optimal conditions, and yeah, if you focus it correctly at at, at the point it needs to be, and it's sort of uh, steady, yeah, pretty much burns instantly, uh, as well from a few meters the, as uh, from uh, like a uh, a few centimeters. Uh, you can uh, choose, uh, as uh, described on the box, uh, three different um, uh, levels of milliamp uh, from the same type of batteries for this uh, laser. And yeah, I got like uh, the 1500 milliamp, or or is it 1200? But at least like I have a few hundred uh, per battery less than uh, the maximum uh, that is. Uh, Compatible for this uh, this uh, this product, and uh, they empty in yeah, amazingly quick time. They also charge relatively quickly. I must say, like uh, within an hour, they're uh, full again. But yeah, if you would uh, just turn on the laser and you you let it burn until uh, it runs out of uh, energy, then yeah, it's just like uh, we're talking about a few minutes, not uh, not much more. So. Uh, but yeah, you should never do that because it overheats and it's bad for the for the thing. So, uh, but just uh, to to uh, give an idea about uh, the 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 time it will uh, will run on a fresh pair of batteries. <laughs>